I'm going to expose Dennis Dickerson and many other females out there who are pulling the same old bullshit. I'm going to show you how Bill Cosby is innocent. And it's really not that complicated, folks. So today's video is Make Toe and Who's Guilty. It's quite easy to blame a man when you got 25 women on his back claiming the same thing. But it's not like women pair up in groups, right? It's not even like the Illuminati might want to destroy Bill Cosby and therefore hire 25 women. None of that's a possibility, right? Whatever happened to a victim being a victim? Whatever happened to a victim being a victim? Seriously. When a woman used to get raped, she would go instantly to the doctor and then to the police, and the doctor would verify her rape story. Now women don't go to the doctor after they're raped. Well, that's bullshit. If you do not press charges, it did not happen. Simple as that. Whatever happened to the victim being the victim? A real victim wants their, their perpetrator to be incarcerated. They don't want cash settlements. They don't want the man to pay money. They want him to pay with his time. They want to make him suffer for his deeds. So once again, Janice Dickerson, wanting with the 25 women, $100 million, which is one-fourth of Bill Cosby's income. Hmm. Really? So, bitch, with your fucking emotional problems, money's gonna make it better? Are you gonna spend all that money on your second trip to rehab? How is money gonna make her issues better? The ones that she's been carrying for 40 fucking years. How are those issues going to go away with money? You think that punishes a man? How about putting him in jail and letting him go through jail time? But that would require the real, genuine legal system. You would actually have to go through the court system, through DAs. You'd have to bring up evidence. You'd have to bring up genuine charges. You would have to go on the record. What this bitch has done, Janice Dickerson, is just take it to the courts of the public opinion. That's all she's done. This evil little cunt. That's what all women do. They don't make genuine charges. They just throw it out in public. Oh, he's a rapist. He raped me. And they let the public handle the rest. It's called painting somebody black. And psychopaths and narcissists are the ones that use that tactic. That already shows me that Bill, Bill's innocent. As the woman has made no charges, she has done nothing formally on paper. All she does is make allegations and throw it out there and say stuff like, we got to stop this man, and uh, I'm an American woman, and all this fucking nonsense. It's sickening. That's how I know Bill's innocent. There once was a time where women would get rape tests done after she was raped to have it proved for her in court. So it wouldn't just be her word in court, it would actually be a doctor's testimony versus the, the, you know, the perpetrator. So what I don't understand here is why these females keep getting away with this shit with no evidence, no police report made, nothing legit. Just her fucking mouth. And men back them up. Are you absolutely fucking nuts? Whatever happened to a gu uh, innocent until proven guilty? Does that not even exist anymore? It's like guilty until proven innocent now. Fucking nuts. I know what I'm talking about. I was falsely accused of rape by the same fucking things. My ex-girlfriend, she went to the police station and called me a rapist, told the whole fucking story, but she did not make an official charge on it. That's what the women do. They make the story and then let the, the court of public opinion finish the job for them. So that way they don't get their hands dirty. And since this woman does not want to get her hands dirty, it's clear to me she's a lying whore. Oh, that court of uh, public opinion can be so fucking deadly. Oh, I can take somebody out like, just like that. Look what it's done to Bill. With no evidence, no proof, no case. Uh, a story that keeps falling apart. Ten different stories. And yet, this woman is allowed to continue her, her perpetration on this man. She has no evidence. No story that actually matches up with the last story she told. She's been carrying it for 40 years. But never went to see a shrink about it. Give me a break. It's clearly a setup. And like I said before, a real victim wants justice. They don't want money. They want the justice first. Sometimes they'll even say, you go to jail and you give me money. But they never leave out the jail part. Only the fake victims leave out the jail part. You see what I'm talking about or not yet? 
I know the tricks of the cunt. I know the tricks of the cunt. They got, I got pulled, they got pulled on me. I got pulled into it. I got sucked into it. I know what it's like. I know a false bitch a mile away. This Janice Dickerson is a fucking false little harlot. She should be shot for what she's done. She says it too. I can't sleep anymore. Bitch, that's called your conscience. Sickening. So now we have Bill, who has to deal with everybody calling him a rapist, even though there's no proof, no official charges, nothing really to activate even a case against them, yet everybody is calling him a rapist now. They're so arrogant and entitled, they actually spray paint his star with the word rapist on it. Where's the proof? Where's any evidence, folks? So far, we got a bunch of money-hungry gold diggers after a guy who's really rich. That's what it looks like here. Can you see anything different? Does it not look like that to you? Maybe you all forgot the story about the rehab. Rehab is a big deal. That is not some place you go to when you are mentally sane. This is a place where you go to where drugs have taken over your life, or booze have taken over your life, or you're suicidal. But none of these things are, are done if you are in a rational set of mind. You have to be in a rational, irrational state of mind to actually go into a rehab. So there we already have it. We have a woman with a bad history who has spent all of her youth acting like a playboy bunny, like a blow-up doll, and now we get getting uh, Bill Cosby accused of rape 40 years later without any doctor's evidence, without any documentation to prove her story, absolutely nothing but her word. And, she, and her word keeps changing constantly. Her story keeps changing. So who are we going to believe? A man who's always been good, who's even been good off-camera, who's been exactly the same off-camera as he, as he has always been on-camera, or are we going to believe this little narcissistic bimbo that has no brains in her head whatsoever that she has to read cue cards when she's talking on The Daily Show? Who are we going to believe? As a matter of fact, if you don't believe Bill Cosby, then you are a backstabber. Because that guy has never done anything wrong to anybody. Ever! It's only when he's now weak and he's showing a little bit of weakness that women are pouncing on him. That's a typical narcissistic thing to do. They waited till he got older, so he wasn't very, uh, he's getting a little bit more feeble, and this is when they pounced. Why didn't they do this to him when he was in his younger age? Why not? Why wait till he's almost 80 years old? Huh? Good question, isn't it? So once again, we have a woman not asking for prison time, we have a woman asking for money, we have 25 women asking for money, not one of them is asking for jail time, not one of them has made an official charge yet, and they've allowed the court of public opinion to literally blacklist this man. That's painting somebody black. That's slander. And she should be thrown in jail for it. This is Wardrobe's Fire. Leave your comments below. See you all later. Have a great Christmas. Merry Christmas, all. Bye-bye.